Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to perform a lab on AWS Lambda. This lab is provided in quickslab.com, which is completely free. You can check the description for the link to the lab. Let's understand first what is AWS Lambda and its function. AWS Lambda is a compute service that runs your code in response to events and automatically manages the compute resources for you, making it easy to build applications that respond quickly to new information. AWS Lambda starts running your code within milliseconds of an event such as image upload, in-app activity, website click, or output from a connected device. You can also use AWS Lambda to create new backend services where compute resources are automatically triggered based on custom request. In this lab, we are going to cover the topics such as creating an AWS Lambda function, configuring an Amazon S3 bucket as a Lambda event source, trigger a Lambda function by uploading an object to Amazon S3, and monitor AWS Lambda S3 functions through Amazon CloudWatch logs. For this lab, having the concept of Amazon S3 would be beneficial. I have already made a video on Amazon S3. You can check the i button for the link. Now, to start the lab, you have to first join. To join, click on this join button. You can either fill up this form or directly sign in with Google. I'm going to sign in with Google. Choose your account. Now search for AWS Lambda. Click on this introduction to AWS Lambda. Now click on Start Lab. This is going to take some time, so I'm going to fast forward the screen. Now open console. Now let's go to this scenario. This lab demonstrates AWS Lambda by creating a serverless image thumbnail application. So the following diagram illustrates the application flow. Let's enlarge it. Now let's see the scenario. This lab demonstrates AWS Lambda by creating a serverless image thumbnail application. The following diagram illustrates the application flow. First, a user uploads an object to the source bucket in Amazon S3. Second, Amazon S3 detects the object created event. In third, Amazon S3 publishes the object created event to AWS Lambda by invoking the Lambda function and passing event data as a function parameter. In fourth step, AWS Lambda executes the Lambda function and in fifth, from the event data, it receives the Lambda function, knows the source bucket name and object key name. The Lambda function reads the object and creates a thumbnail using graphics libraries and then saves the thumbnail to the target bucket. Now you can go to task 1, which is to create the Amazon S3 bucket. I am going to minimize this screen so that I can do it easily. Let's go to task 1, create the Amazon S3 bucket. In this task, you will create two Amazon S3 buckets, one for input and one for output. So go to the services and search for S3. Click on S3. If you are not familiar with what is S3, then you can watch my previous videos on Amazon S3 lab. 
So now let's go to the step number 6. Click uh, create bucket and then configure. So click on create bucket. Now give the bucket name as this. Images. Give some random number. So now copy the name of your bucket to a text editor. Copy the name of your bucket and paste it on a text editor. Click create bucket. You don't have to change any configuration directly go to create bucket. So now you can skip this part and go to save number step. Again. Uh, go to this create bucket option and click on create bucket in the bucket name paste the name of your images bucket paste it and add resized click create bucket do not change the reason clear create bucket So now you can see that we have two buckets. One is images 9832 and another one is images 9832 resized. This bucket is going to be used as the input bucket for lambda function. And this bucket is going to be used as the output bucket for lambda function. So now go to step number eight. You will now upload a picture for testing purpose. Right click this link. Open link in new tab. We can see a picture. The file name is happyface.jpg. Save it on your computer. Save images as happy face. I'm going to save it on the desktop for quick access. Click on save. The file name is happyface.jpg. Open the image on your computer. Open the image. The image is quite large. And the dimension is 1280 by 853. In the S3 management console, click the images bucket. So click on this one, not this one. Click on images 9832. And uh, click on upload. In upload window, click on add files. Browse and select happyface.jpg. Click on open and choose upload so we have uploaded a file named as happyface.jpg in the images 9832 s3 bucket now let's go to task 2 which is to create an aws lambda function in this task you will create an aws lambda function that reads an image from amazon s3 resizes the image and then stores the new image in amazon s3 on the services menu, search for Lambda. Click on Lambda. Now click on create function as given in step number 16. Click on create function. Choose author from scratch. Here we can see multiple options. Uh, blueprints are code templates for writing lambda functions. Blueprints are provided for standard lambda triggers such as creating M Alexa skills and processing Amazon Kinesis Firehouse streams. This lab provides you with a pre-written lambda function so you will uh, author from scratch. Now configure uh, the basic information as given right here. The function name should be create thumbnail. Runtime, choose the platform that you want to use for running the code. In this lab, we are going to choose Python 3.7 version. 
source for python 3.7 version here it is uh, expand change default execution role in execution role select use an existing role in existing role choose lambda execution role make sure to select a python 3.7 under other supported runtime if you select python 3.8 from the latest supported list the code will fail this role uh, grants permission to the lambda execution function to access amazon s3 to read and write images now click on create function create function A page will be displayed with your function configuration. AWS Lambda functions can be triggered automatically by activities such as data being received by Amazon Kinesis or data being updated in an Amazon Dynamo database. For this lab, you will trigger the Lambda function whenever a new object is created in your Amazon S3 bucket. So click Add Trigger. Now select a trigger as S3, S3, select your bucket which is our images 9832 bucket because this is an input bucket, event type all object create events and now for recursive invocation select I acknowledged that using the same S3 bucket for both input and output is not recommended. So we have given separate buckets for input and output click on add okay so expand function overview and click on create thumbnail at the top of the diagram now click code as shown below so you can see the code option right here click on code Now configure the following settings and ignore any settings that are not listed. Click upload from menu and select Amazon S3 location and Amazon S3 location URL copy and paste this URL into the field. So copy this and paste it right here. Click on save. The file that we have just given, create thumbnail.zip file contains the following lambda function. So this is the lambda function which is going to take the input image from our image 9832 bucket and is going to resize the image and give the image to the another bucket. You can examine this code. It is performing the following steps receives an event which contains the name of the incoming bucket in incoming object downloads the image to a local storage resize the image using a pillow library uploads the resized image to the resized bucket in the runtime setting click on edit you can see this runtime setting click on edit handler enter create thumbnail dot handler and now click on save make sure you set the handler field to the above value otherwise the lambda function will not be found now click configuration you can see the configuration menu right here click on it general configuration click edit in the description write create a thumbnail sized image you will leave the other settings as default but here is a brief explanation of this setting memory defines the resources that will be allocated to your function increasing memory also increases cpu allocated to the function Timeout sets the maximum duration for function execution. Now click on save. 
your lambda function now has been configured. Now task 3, test your function. In this task, you will test your lambda function. This is done by simulating an event with the same information normally sent from Amazon S3 when a new object is uploaded. So click on test. You can see the test menu right here. Click on test. In the test event section, click on new event and then configure template as Amazon S3 put. Amazon S3 put name upload a sample template will be displayed that shows the event data sent to lambda function when it is triggered by an upload into Amazon S3 you will need to edit the bucket name so that it uses the bucket you created earlier now go to this code and replace the example bucket the example bucket one example bucket is right here erase it and give the name of your bucket and also it is here So we have changed the name of the bucket in both location, one here and one here. Replace the test slash key with the name of the pictures that you uploaded. Replace this test slash key and give the name as happy face dot jpg. Now click on test. Click on test. AWS Lambda will now trigger your function using happyface.jpg as the input image. Towards the top of the page, you should see the message execution result succeeded. Uh, if your test did not succeed, the error message will explain the cause of the failure. Click on details. Click on details. You will be shown information including execution duration resources configured maximum memory used and log output you can now view the resized image that was stored in amazon s3 in the services menu source for s3 s3 and check the bucket named as resized resized Select the image and click on open. You can see that the image has been resized and uh, changed the resolution into 128 by 85. You are welcome to upload your own images to the images bucket and then click for thumbnails in the resized bucket. So let's try doing that. Go to Amazon S3. Go to your images 9832 bucket. Choose upload. Click on add files. So choose any other images from your computer system. So I'm going to choose this new report open it and click on upload this is the original size of my image now let's check the size from the resized bucket go back to your s3 bucket click on resized bucket Click on this uh, new report.png and open it. The image resolution has been reduced. 
task for monitoring and logging. You can monitor AWS Lambda functions to identify problems and view log files to assist in debugging. On the services menu, click on Lambda. Lambda. Click on your create thumbnail function. Click on this monitor option. The console displays the graphs showing the graph is being generated. So the first graph is about the invocation. Invocation is the number of times that the function was invoked. Duration is the average minimum and maximum execution time. Error count and success rate is the number of errors and the percentage of execution that completed without error. Throttles, uh, when too many functions are invoked simultaneously, they will be throttled. The default is 1000 concurrent execution. Async delivery failures is the number of errors that occurred when a Lambda attempted to write to a destination or dead letter queue. Iterator is measures the age of the last record processed from streaming triggers. And concurrent execution, the number of functions instances that are processing the event. Log messages from Lambda functions are retained in Amazon CloudWatch logs. You can click on view logs in CloudWatch. You can click the log stream that appears right here. So expand each messages to view the log messages in detail. This includes the request ID, duration, build duration. So with this, you can watch the logs of AWS Lambda functions in CloudWatch as well. With this, we have successfully completed this lab. We have created an AWS Lambda function, configured an Amazon S3 bucket as a Lambda event source, triggered a Lambda function by uploading an object to Amazon S3, and monitored AWS Lambda S3 functions through Amazon CloudWatch logs. So with this, we have finished this lab. To end the lab, go to this um, username option and click on sign out. You can click on end lab option. Click on OK. You can also check the additional resources uh, such as AWS Lambda documentation from this link. For more information about AWS training and certification, you can go to this link. I think this video was useful for learning AWS Lambda. I will also make such kind of videos on upcoming days. And uh, from YouTube analytics, I just noticed that the 90% of my viewers has not subscribed to the channel yet. So I request everyone to please subscribe to the channel and show me your full support. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you on the next video.